So I did not grow up in the church. I do not come from a Christian family. So my first experience with Jesus was a friend inviting me to youth group in high school. Um, and that was right after a period in my life where I stepped away from competitive gymnastics, which was a really big part of my identity. And so in that gap, the Lord was just really faithful to kind of leverage that time period in my life to lead me to himself. Um, and so initially I went to youth group and sure. was just like, oh, there are cool people here, new sure. friends. Um, didn't really know sure. what to expect or what was going to sure. come of that, but just through continuing to go, to be honest, like for yeah. the social reasons sure. at first, really just encountered the Lord over yeah. time. I would say that the first time I really experienced the presence of God was at church camp over the summer. Um, so that was awesome. Up until that point, I had started seeking, I would say, um, and then he just really made himself known to me um, in the context of worship at church camp, which was awesome. Yeah, it's really important. Um, and I would say that over the past, I don't know, year or two, the Lord has really grown my capacity for sure. worship, which has been really transformational in my life. Just, um, I guess, learning what worship means outside of the context of corporate worship sure. in a Sunday morning sure. church setting. Um, just learning how to worship on my own, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, in my own quiet time. I think naturally I'm more inclined toward like study as yeah, a spiritual sure. discipline, yeah. but have really enjoyed yeah. that increase in capacity right. just to worship and really experience relationship with God right. in a different way um, through that discipline. That's a good question. Um, I think there are probably pros and cons. So definitely came in with no prior experience. So I think there was an openness there maybe. Definitely had a hunger that developed as the Lord really started drawing me nearer to himself. But I didn't really know what church was supposed to be like, what youth group at sure. that point in my life was supposed to be like. I didn't know what worship was sure. supposed to be like. So in that sense, I think there was, that's a positive, like yeah. not bringing sure. in any sort of, um, I guess, opinions or I didn't have any hindrance in yeah. that area. Um, I think that the con maybe is I felt like in the beginning, it was just me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and so didn't really have a whole lot of sure. guidance. But I mean, God has been so faithful to bring yeah, sure. different people into my life who thankfully sure. have had very solid walks with the yeah, Lord sure. that I've been able to yeah. learn from. Sure. But not having that support at home, yeah, I think sure. as a kid, especially, but even into adulthood, sure. that has been a challenge, sure. Um, sure. definitely. Yeah, um, I learned to tithe at Valley. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I was saved in high school, went to college, um, attended different churches, sure. but this has really been the first church that has been like my church family sure. for a substantial period sure. of time. I don't know if like the church I went to in high school or in college just didn't teach on tithing sure. or I don't know, I wasn't listening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really don't remember. Yeah. But I do remember after moving out here, yeah. it was just something that Pastor David taught on and I was yeah. like, all right, I guess I need to do this. <laughs> and so I guess not having any sort of bad experience sure. with tithing. I think some people have experiences where it's really like pushed down sure, yeah. their throat kind of thing. Yeah. I did not come in with that at right. all. Um, and so I just, I started giving, started sure. tithing. And yeah. um, I think initially it really was just an act of obedience. Sure. Um, I don't know if I gave too much thought to it, right. but over time I have definitely 
kind of experience the fruit yeah. of faithfulness sure. through giving. Sure. I guess one kind of story that comes to mind is I moved out here right after college mm -hmm. and was teaching in Weldon for two years. Sure. And after that, felt the Lord leading me out of the classroom, sure. but felt like he was calling me to stay in the area. Yeah, sure. And so there was a period of time where I'm like, okay, God, I'm yeah. listening. And so yeah. I stayed um, and he was faithful to provide a way for me to stay, sure. but didn't have a job for, yeah. I don't remember how long, yeah. but it felt like forever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so during that period of time in particular, I just really remember not having peace right. about not being in control of my sure. own ability yeah. to really provide for myself. I mean, sure. God was faithful to provide throughout, but it was really the peace yeah, sure. that was missing because yeah. I was relying on my own understanding sure. versus yeah. really truly surrendering that yeah. aspect of my life to him and so i guess during that time i remember it was it was a wrestle for sure yeah, for sure. several months but there was an evening where finally i just i just surrendered yeah. and i was like face down on the yeah. floor through tears sure. lord i trust mm -hmm. you to yeah. provide yeah, financially sure. for me and so that was like a real big breakthrough yeah. moment the whole time he provided a way for me to yeah have a place to live just financial provision for sure. food and all the things that i need i wasn't going out and yeah. doing a whole lot of extra sure. <laughs> fun activities um but shortly after really just truly surrendering um i mean he provided a job and yeah. i mean i've been here ever since yeah, and so sure. i think that was a breakthrough moment and i've just seen the provision over time through yeah. i don't know job opportunities, yeah, a sure. second job when I was trying to pay off college yeah, loans. Sure. I don't know, just the generosity of people in this church, yeah. the generosity of people outside of this church. Yeah, sure. I've experienced the yeah. fruit of giving right. um, in a lot of different ways. Yeah. He's worth it. <laughs> Um, I mean, what he says is true, always. And that has been a big part of my journey and my testimony is just really learning how to trust God and to trust people in every yeah. single aspect of life and every single time. He, he just always proves himself yeah. faithful because he is. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah.